look it's not like i regret anything but it's not like i had the experience of my life either i love Lollapalooza. it's my favorite music festival and i was going crazy over the lineup just to when i already booked everything like hotels flight tickets literally everything i realized that one i didn't actually like the lineup that much and two the two people that i was going crazy for red hot chili peppers and lana del rey were playing at the same time in the same day in opposite stages I just came back from Chicago and straight from Lollapalooza to the Era store. I recover, I'm feeling well, I did my skincare and now I'm here to tell you everything about my Lollapalooza 2023 experience. Being broke is so humiliating. So this was my second time going to Lollapalooza, right? And it's not like I wasn't broke the first time, no. It's just that this time I was supposed to share a hotel room with four friends. So I was going four girls. My friend would sleep with me. My friend's friend would sleep with her. Two king size bed, perfect grocery vibes, right? But my friend who booked a hotel for us and she was an angel for that, by the way. She literally saved our ass. My friend who booked a hotel for us, she had a discount code for a really good hotel. It was Chicago. At I, I don't remember the name, but I'm letting here on the screen. It was a really good hotel right by Grand Park where Lollapalooza happened. So, so far, so good. But for us to get this discount, she would have to book from Thursday when the festival started through Monday, Monday morning. I forgot to buy my airplane tickets. I forgot to buy my tickets to go to another state to see a festival. I just forgot that I had to fly there and I bought my tickets last minute. I don't know who needs to hear that today. Do not buy your flight tickets last minute do not do it two weeks ahead do not do this a week ahead because you're gonna get fucked. first of all overpriced i was refusing to fly spirit not i get in my broke yes but i have bone dairy so i was willing to pay a little bit more and it was just uh, i swear to god it was just after i confirmed my fly i paid six hundred dollars to go to chica a little more a little more let's not think about that and then i realized that actually there was not many people i wanted to see i'm not complaining about seeing billy eilish okay i would a hundred percent fly and spend all my money to fly <laughs> see really eilish and honestly we're gonna get there i feel like it was one of her best performance ever it was the review of her new hair color so it was a vibe i'm not complaining you know i went to see alana and red hot chili peppers so i was like um uh, was it worth it because like i've seen red hot chili peppers so many times and i can see them again and lana is playing in outside lands that is right in san francisco like right there but i have a thing for Lollapalooza, so you know that was mistake number one but that's not even that's not even it because i needed a flight that would make me leave from LA and make to Chicago on time right and the earliest flight I could the earliest slash latest flight I could find was at midnight so I would fly midnight here from LA and I would get to Chicago 6 a.m. 6 a.m. First of all, I'm not a morning girly okay it's like noon right now almost 1 p.m. and I'm still waking up not a morning girly but that's okay that's just spoil of me i know that but we would check in at 3 p.m where would baby girl stay from 6 a.m through 3 p.m at the airport so i had my first airport nap that was way more than a nap i really hope that nobody filmed me sleeping there because it was very humbling and humiliating but you know what is the worst part i did that i stay at the airport so i wouldn't have to pay an extra day for the hotel or anything but my back after like two or three hours mm -hmm, like i spent like three hours in the airport and it was still like 9 a.m i was about to pass out after spending like three hours in the airport seats in the airport floor my back was hurting so bad that literally i just needed a massage like literally i have scoliosis <laughs> i have scoliosis it's hard to be a concert girly when you have back problems i was like i cannot fucking do it i cannot fucking walk so luckily luckily there was a spa in the airport that i was at at the o'hara o'hare uh, airport there the big airport from chicago okay okay I'm gonna book a massage and the most reasonable one was like $70 which honestly I could have just all the way through just booked a fucking room even if it was low-key at least I would sleep you know remember I said I was going to Lollapalooza with three other friends 
forget about that one of them was one of my best friends ever amanda shout out to you if you're watching this right now like she is one of my best friends she was my roommate in new york city and she is obsessed with lana del rey one day in 2019 when i was living in new york city lana was playing in her hometown in long island and my friend amanda she wanted to go to the concert and she literally gave me a ticket back then i didn't cry at concerts but that was one of the first concerts that i cried yet tomorrow never came anyways amanda did that for me so naturally now that i'm a music influencer and i have easier access to tickets and everything i wanted to, to return the favor you know and she's right there she lives in new york city so from new york to chicago two hour flight easy doable her car got cloned nothing was working out she was like okay i'm missing the first day of festival but i'm taking the train from new york to chicago it's like a Six to, I don't remember but it's like an overnight thing you know like she would board at midnight as well and she would get to Chicago 2 p.m. so she could make to the three other days of festivals but everything was sold out everything was booked i know i'm talking about my friend's life and it was something that went wrong in my experience because i was looking forward to hang out with her like again love my other friends and their angels their sweethearts i had a great time i met some other friends in there so this friend part is very good but since she's one of my best friends of course it affected me because i wanted her to go to the festival so bad i know that my flight i arrived to chicago very early i know that i was complaining about that i did have options to pay a little more and get a little later there but you know I was just afraid that if something went wrong I would miss the first day of festival and I was already not feeling the lineup so if I miss Billy I would be very very upset this is very personal okay and maybe I'm being too LA girl for that but food wise Lollapalooza we need to talk where are the healthy options baby girl again I don't know if it's an LA girl I don't know if it's because I work in the entertainment industry so to me what I eat is extremely important I physically feel really bad when I eat something heavy one day or another I can eat a hamburger or I can eat fries and things like that but every single day Lollapalooza come on I would love to have more food options you know I know it's hard with the weather and everything but Coachella does it Coachella does it in the desert so why can't you guys just offer and that goes for every festival okay why can't you guys offer healthier food options the first day I ate Shake Shack which is like I just it was my second time having it in life but it made me feel really heavy so I had to sit down and enjoy Portugal the man I'm not complaining it was cool like they're a vibe I feel I feel like they are a show for you to sit and watch anyway so that was cool vegan fries come on I'm gonna eat fries every day for I already did the mistake of eating like cheese stuff or pizza or hamburger this time which are heavy foods for you to be at a festival like drinking and enjoying and going everywhere you know you need good food okay to fill your body so it's complicated because you either eat before going which is like you're not always hungry you know like you're gonna have breakfast like we did and then we're not hungry until the moment we get to the festival and we're like okay snack nothing and then when you leave the fast food there's literally nothing open but fast food so i had to eat chicken filet it was my first time again not saying anything bad about food either but it was not good at all and i'm trying to stop eating meat you know i will eat eventually i'm a flexitarian usually i just eat fish and that's it but it was just something that made me a little uncomfortable food wise it was raining bad weather all the way and like who am i gonna complain with god what can i do nothing the only mistake that i made i mean honestly i always wanted to go to a festival that was raining because i think it's so raw the mud the rain the raw like yeah i'm here for them i wanted that vibe did i prepare for that vibe no i prepared to be in the sun my all my everything I prepared to be in the sun. Brought one jacket, the Lana Del Rey jacket. Amen, because I was a celebrity with that jacket. Side note here. In the Lana day, I was with the jacket and people would stop me like, oh my God, you have the jacket. And I was like, yes, I have the jacket. I have the merch. Oh okay, yeah, I have the merch. I just took one jacket. So I had to use the poor jacket every single day, all the time. My boots thanks god i had my boots thanks god i had my boots it's like not a complaint at all because again i don't care but it's just like i'm definitely preparing better for the next festival i don't know i just for some reason because it's hot in la i thought it was gonna be hot in chicago because it was hot two years ago in chicago i thought it was gonna be hot this time and it's not like it was cold but it was definitely raining and i did not pack for that okay let me just have a sip of my coffee because without it i cannot make it to the next topic 
the lineup. I have a video about that, analyzing the lineup, picking my favorites and everything. The shows I wanted to see were very good, like Lana was amazing, Billy was probably one of her best performance, but I did not like the lineup at all. Like, I feel like it was too messy, it was kind of complicated, like you couldn't set a vibe. Lollapalooza is one of my favorite festivals because of the vibe that it has, because of the history. I understand they need to make money now, so things change. Back when they were invented in the 90s or so, when Perry from Jenny's Addiction started Lollapalooza, like it was supposed to be an indie music festival. So you would have indie rock bands or indie artists and you would have the headliners, which was usually rock bands. Cool, again, times change, they need to make money, I get it, but I feel like there was so many TikTok one hit songs in there and like no offense at all unfortunately this is how the industry works now and we could make a video about that if you want but it's just sad and frustrating to realize that the lineup is basically made of people who are famous on tiktok for one or two songs don't get me wrong i'm young i am on tiktok i work with that and i'm not judging at all good that at least they have one hit song that booked then a festival but most of the lineup was like that and the vibe was not settled at all so okay good we have a vibe for every taste right we go from Sab Sabrina Carpenter to Red Hot Chili Peppers okay cool but at the same time it's like I feel like I want to see a lot of people but at the same time I don't feel like I want to see anyone it was just overall a messy lineup one thing that they really need to work on is this schedule clashing putting two good headliners in the same day at the same time and not because they're my favorite artists but that's fucked up I don't know if it's like that in all the Lollapaloozas around the world but you know it's just frustrating and heartbreaking that like the people you actually want to see you can't speaking of that and kendrick lamar and everything again this is gonna make me sound like a very spoiled la girl and i am okay i am i'm not denying that i'm a princess they change the spots okay they changed all oh, the vip area they changed the ga now they have the ga plus which is something very new i have no idea how it works but i can find out for you the vip was changed the backstage was changed all the areas were changed like the drinks were everything was changed and like okay good changing is good maybe all those changes happen because of the ga plus which honestly i just feel like you're paying more for you know like a little more might as well go vip and let the area as it was with kendrick lamar for example i feel like like all the sectors nobody had a, a, an area to watch anything so when a big concert happened literally all the park would go to the same spot to the same area and okay we're there to vibe and be with each other beautiful but it just made the experience a little uncomfortable because it felt like too crowded too many people in the same spot and i feel like i understand that they are trying to i don't know either make money somehow or make the experience more affordable and comfortable for everyone i can see that that was not a very smart <laughs> design for the crowd it works well for the whole day but it doesn't work well for the the headliners moment you know I thought about making a video rating the shows I've been to or ranking best tours but honestly I just saw Lana's and Billy said fully you know all of the other shows loved it but I didn't see anything fully because either something else was happening and we needed to catch and it was clashing or either you know mostly because my friends wanted to see something and since I didn't care enough about any of the people playing I respectfully I just follow my friends for whatever they were doing and I didn't see everything fully like I caught some big sets so i can like judge a little well by what i saw but still it wasn't enough for me to like actually have a full concert experience but that's it i just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with lollapalooza 2023 does it make me not want to go to lollapalooza 2024 no <laughs> no i always say yes to lollapalooza always because the festival has an energy that I like, it's raw, it's in Chicago, it has a beautiful skyline, people are stylish, it's just a good festival for you to be at because everyone is there for the music, but it's kind of hard to be somewhere for the music when it's not even that you don't know the music because I like not knowing people who are performing, that's how I find out new songs, right? It's not even about that, it's more about like um what music you know like what's going on what's going on am i scrolling through tiktok right now you know yeah overall overall was not good <laughs> i was gonna say overall was good but it was okay it was okay i would definitely be down to go to the other lollapalooza just for the vibes but i would have to think this through a little better if the lineup was not the dream lineup and definitely i don't want to buy my tickets last minute again but 
I would think twice, three times and analyze the lineup very well before committing to a big trip like that. Because it was a big trip for me, okay? I'm a college student. That's it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, I didn't either. I almost didn't make this video. <laughs> Bye.